Hello, everybody. My name is Biodu Shegu, pastor of Treasure House of God, the parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Hemelem State. And our topic for today says, Sin Changes Everything. A Bible passage is taken from Genesis chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. A memory verse is taken from Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Our reflections for today. Today's message is simply, sin was a game changer and is still changing the game of people's destinies today. Adam's world was smooth until sin came on the scene and hardened things up. Check what you are doing right now. Look into it. Is there any sin involved? The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. This scripture implies that everything that pertains to your destiny will proceed out of your spirit. In other words, it is by the force of your spirit, by the power of the Holy Ghost, that is, that you will produce anything of lasting note in your life. However, the Bible also says, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. Fleshly lust, like every other sin, have the power to corrupt the productivity of your human spirit. Jesus said, The good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things. But the reality is that sin is an obstruction to the flow of virtue in a believer's life. Sin has a way of shortening the life expectancy of a believer. So I encourage you to be very careful, be wise. The good news with regard to this, however, is that because the venom of death was sin and the strength of sin was the law, Jesus came in the flesh, fulfilled the law, and took it out of the way, went to the cross, and judged sin thereon, nailed it to his cross. And in doing this, he completely paralyzed death, since death could no longer bite the believer with its fear. That is exactly why Paul aware that there was no longer any reason to fail if anyone was in Christ Jesus, as Romans 8, 1. So let us be encouraged. Sin has no more power over us. To live any longer under its power, we only attract God's severe judgment because he has done all there is to do in dealing with the sin problem. The rest is up to us to do. Embrace the grace of holiness. Embrace the gift of salvation and of the truth. It shall be well with you. Our key point today, sin and righteousness are two things that can rewrite one's destiny, but from opposite angles. Please choose righteousness. The Lord will bless you today. The Lord will keep you. And if today is your birthday, have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye for now.